Refresh, refresh, refresh. I think we're there. I think we're live. <laughs> I hope we're live. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I cannot get this. Nope. I want that. Okay. We are on a live feed here. Sorry for the delay, everyone. It's kind of an impromptu. There we go. Wow. I am live. Bad hair. Sorry. No shower. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Vi kind of impromptu. There we go. Ooh. Wow. I am live. Bad hair. Sorry. Okay. We got that. And then let's go to YouTube. And see if we can. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let me turn the volume down. Whoa. Perfect. I think the volume is down. All right. So, oh, why is the video interrupted? I need assistance. I need assistance. Okay. I think we're. This is a <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, geez. I don't want that. Okay. I think we're live. Um, I was trying to figure out, so Facebook over here, YouTube over here. Welcome back to Sparty Hawk Cash. Uh, again, an impromptu video. This is a, just a mail day video. Just wanted to share uh, some pieces in our collection. And um, actually we got a big uh, surprise today in the mail. So uh, we're going to share that with you guys. And I'm off work today, so that was kind of nice. So I don't know why... Um, why is it showing that video interrupt? Hold on one second, folks. Let me just check something here. Uh, 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 let's get back on the live feed. So, I think we're good. I don't know why it's a live video interrupted, but uh, it seems like it's it's running. So anyhow, um, gosh, where do we start? Let's start with Brian Bosworth. I, I think the title of this is Mojo Break and the Boz, but we will finish off with Mojo Break. We're going to start off with the Boz. Um, long story short, uh, had collected some Boz memorabilia. Brian Bosworth, yes, that Boz, back in... Uh, this is a long time ago. We're talking probably dating back 20 years ago. Um, the Boz and I, well, I say the Boz and I, I don't really have a connection with the Boz, but almost went to Oklahoma, Oklahoma University, the University of Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner, because of the Boz. Uh, did get accepted there, was waiting on my acceptance from the University of Kansas. Never heard from it, from them. Apparently my letter was lost at the uh, registrar's office of a, the uh, acceptance letter. So, and ended up going to KU. So, a couple, uh, 15, 20 years ago when I got back, ended up memorabilia, mini helmets, pictures, and uh, Boz was one of my, with the card industry, uh, I had saw last year he was signing, or had signed some uh, things for Panini, and that kind of opened Pandora's box for me. So uh, during that time, since I think 2017 football releases uh, of uh, different sets, we've decided to go after some Brian Bosworth cards. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Uh, I'm trying to think where to start with. Let's start with um, actually some rookie cards. And I actually have it's kind of a, an ongoing saga right now. I have a, a couple packages being delivered. One of them is another uh, Boz Gem Mint uh, PSA or Gem Mint 10. But here is a, here's the first one. And I actually should have brought some stands here. 
Uh, let me see if I can put this up here for you guys. This is a Brian Bosworth 1988 rookie card. Graded by PSA. Uh, these are not mine. It's part of eBay, but um, I have two of them actually. Here's the second one. And let me see if I can. Uh, I might be a little too close. Let's see if we can pull it back a little bit. You won't see my ugly mug. Um, where is the other stand? I had, a, I had another stand here. Well, this is what happens when you are impromptu and really don't prepare. You don't know where all your equipment is. There it is. All right. So, thought, thought these were pretty cool. Uh, Brian Bosworth, rookie cards, PSA. Uh, I think this is the newer version with their new hologram, uh, everything that kind of goes with it. And then uh, this is a, a one the way they used to do it before. This has a barcode in the back and all that. And I have a third Gem Mint coming, um, which is an older PSA graded card. So it's still in like the 2 million or whatever the, the range is. But man, they're still not showing, I guess, because the camera angles up upward. So let me see if I can slide those back just a little bit more. But yeah, these are the Brian Bosworth 1988 Tops Super Rookie. Um, looking good. Super rookie. See, yeah, no one in chat. Oh, there you go. Got one in chat. Nice, my daughter. Again, uh, wasn't really looking to have viewership, but it's more people to watch later. Uh, so there we go. Brian Bosworth. There's a couple of his gem mint rookie cards, uh, and I looked up the population on those. I want to say there's maybe about 300 on PSA, but thought that was pretty cool. Some of those there, uh, there is a, where is it, thought I'd share this, this is a 1989, I think he only had two football cards with tops, this is a 1989 uh, version of his card, also gem mint, the 1989 tops, Brian Bosworth second year card, so we have his rookie cards right there, and his second year card, and, uh, or his second year card, so, one, one of the interesting stories behind the Boz was he uh, wanted to wear number 44 and he wore 44 in training camp during his rookie year in 87 and the league mandated that he had to wear a, a linebacker number which I think started from maybe 50 on, I'm not sure uh, what the number, or 46 on or something, but they wouldn't allow him I thought to wear number 44 which he wore college, so uh, that was kind of an interesting sidebar to that uh, again, this is, uh, let's see, this is a 24th million item by PSA graded there. This one is 40 million. Wow, this just shows you 28 million. And then I think the one we have is 20 million, but there's a lot. PSA obviously has been doing this for a while. So uh, <laughs> I just noticed the numbers on the back too. So 1989 Brian Bosworth, Gem Mint, second year card. Two Brian Bosworth rookie cards. Um, what is this? What's in here? Oh, this is just a rock. Um, oh, let me show you that. This is kind of cool. Let's go into autographs here a little bit. Uh, this one just came actually today. And still has the little... Uh, from Mill Creek, actually. Mill Creek Sports. This has the... It's in its uh, team bag. But this is a Brian Bosworth rookie card. But it's autographed by Brian Bosworth. And it has, um, it has, it's authenticated by Beckett, Beckett grading, or Beckett authentication actually, BAS. So the autograph, the card's not graded, but the autograph is authenticated by Beckett. So hopefully this picture's coming in clear. My Wi-Fi is sort of cruddy at times. But I thought that was kind of a cool card. Uh, not too many of those on eBay. Uh, so you have an authenticated slab. Brian Bosworth rookie card signed by the Boz himself and authenticated by BAS. So pretty cool. Again, this one just came today. Again, I mentioned earlier, I have about 10 packages that said they were delivered yesterday. And they actually were not delivered. So might have to make a step. But then they delivered about 7 today. 
So I don't know what, what the deal is with the postman. I'll have to, uh, it's shown on eBay that they've uh, been delivered. So Brian Bosworth, rookie card signed by the Boz, authenticated by BAS, 1988 tops. So that's kind of a neat piece right there. Um, let's show some other autographs here. This collection is growing. I have to find a uh, box here. This is an upper deck masterpiece from 2008. So upper deck when they were in the game with uh, football cards, which they must have still had the license back then. This is an upper deck stroke of genius. Brian Bosworth signed card. It's not... Uh, not a serial numbered one or anything like that so I don't know how what the how many of these are made or were made but it's obviously a parallel to uh, just kind of a subset of the whatever cards were the base cards of that year so it's it's a cool card it's it's uh, the the actual um, it's a bordered it's like frame bordered and then the uh, the surface is a little rough, rougher surface, almost like a canvas, I guess. That's probably where they get the strokes of genius. So it's kind of a canvas type, uh, type background, I guess. But So that is strokes of genius. I'm going to go ahead and a Brian Bosworth PC. So I'm just sharing that today. I have some pieces that have come in uh, over the course of the several months and just wanted to kind of share them today on my day off from work. So. Here is a 2011 Upper Deck football letter. A nice on-card signature. What I, what I was trying to look for in a lot of these cards, too, at least in the Upper Deck, these are all on-card. Um, not a big sticker fan, and I know Panini and Tops, obviously, uh, in baseball, and then Panini and basketball and football. They go with a lot of sticker autographs, and um, so I'm, I've been trying to find pieces on eBay, and I haven't done any trades yet, but this is, like again, announcing to the uh, hobby world that if there are people with Brian Bosworth cards, we will be willing to trade or make some, some bargains, some broker some deals. But again, this is a 2011 Upper Deck College Football Legends card. Nice on-card auto by the Boz. He's got that very uh, kind of... His, his slanted writing or, or autograph signature is, is pretty uh, noticeable, recognizable. This one's a nice card. This one is a dual signed card, which is kind of funny. It's a 29 out of 50, so limited uh, serial number. And it is um, a Billy Sims and a Brian Bosworth. This is by Press Pass. Press Pass, and it's kind of funny. The back is upside down. This was 19 or uh, 2006. 2006. Uh, Alumni Association Press Pass Legend. Press Pass Legend. Say that five times. That's a tongue twister. That is um, Brian Bosworth over here and Billy Sims obviously over here. And it's kind of nice because it's inscripted with their numbers. So nice card, beautiful card. Um, digging that card, and now I'm realizing why that one's so close, because that camera's closer. Let's see if I can slide that one back a little bit. There you go, sort of. Okay. <laughs> I was like, the Facebook camera was right up, in, right up in the grill. But this is a neat card. I saw this, and I was like, wow. 29 out of 50 is what it's numbered. It's got the Boz with his wild hair back in the uh, 86, probably, season. Uh, but Billy Sims was also that high-stepping runner. I remember him running before he got drafted by the Lions for the Oklahoma Sooners back in the late 70s. I think he was drafted in 1980, I, I want to say. Uh, but Billy Sims and Brian Bosworth. So very cool, very cool card there. Unique card, I thought. Haven't seen many of those on eBay. Both of those are on-card signatures. So with the on-card signature, pretty, uh, pretty nice. Like that touch. Okay. Oh, this one's a this is a nice card. Press Pass Authentics Authentic Autograph. This is a 2007 Press Pass. Press Pass. Um, I guess it's just called Legends. And this is a beautiful signature by the Boz. That that very notice, noticeable and defined kind of slanted script that he has. Great on card signature. This card is is sweet. I mean, this card's gradable too. 
Um, definitely a nine, maybe higher. BGS could be a 9.5, maybe 10 goal labeled. Uh, PSA, I'm not sure if it's a gem mint, maybe a nine, but could be a gem mint, but it's a beautiful signature. And uh, blue ink, this is blue ink. I hope it comes across there on uh, the video. But this is by Press Pass 2007. So this card is 11 years old, pretty neat. But we found this off eBay for, for a real decent price as well. But I mean, just a bold signature by the Boz, man. Just using eating up all that space there. So, very cool. Very cool. And let me do a little... Uh, little message to some of the people out there I think uh, again I only have uh, I think my daughter and YouTube over here Where's that not chat? there we go uh, okay oh wow cardaholics nice again we are going to open up a big box here from Mo now it's a sticker auto, but it's nice. The whole signature is in the sticker. This is 29 out of 55, absolutely ink. 2016 Panini, yeah. Absolute football. 2016 Panini, absolute football. My uh, trifocals here don't work all the time, so I had to raise the glasses. But this is a nice, I mean, it's, it, again, I'm not a big fan of the sticker autographs. Really like the on-card stuff. Uh, but you know beggars can't be choosy Saw this this is a nice looking card, uh, you know um, Paul Worth uh, X fat packs legendary fat pack podcaster with Eric Norton He had one of these the one of one uh, on his new 24-7 uh, uh, Auctions I think he does he does breaking now 24-7 breaking I think and I think it's 24-7 auctions and I was a little too late to jump on that. He had a one of one on there for maybe 75 bucks. This uh, 2016, I think it was Absolute Ink. Would have been nice to pick that up, but um, I was a little too late on the jump there. So again, but again, that one was a sticker too. So it's kind of like, man, one of one autograph with a sticker. I definitely have kind of an issue with that and wish, uh, wish that wasn't the case, but um, Unfortunately, it is sometimes. I mean, I, I know it's hard for the industry, uh, you know, the manufacturers to get these guys to sign these cards on card and obviously get them back from them in decent shape too, condition and all that. It's amazing, you know, you think a card that has to go get signed and go through the process of what it does comes back with a high score uh, when it gets graded. It's pretty impressive with all the hands it has to go through. Um, after attending the industry summit and um, with Buck City Break Boys, Chris and Adam, and we uh, toured the facility there, the manufacturer that makes the cards for Panini. I mean, it may, you're just amazed at the process of all, you know, when the relics and the signatures and everything that has to go through to get a card together is, and then out to the consumer is an amazing process. So uh, it was really neat to be able to be a part of that and see that. Back to it, 2008, this is on card also, 2008. Upper Deck Ultimate Collection Football. Upper Deck made some sweet cards, man. I had no idea they had these Boz cards back. I was collecting maybe from 99 to about 2003, 2004, and then fizzled out. Uh, actually had to go through a divorce uh, and had custody of my daughter, so that was the main thing. But stayed out of the hobby for several years until I uh, created the eBay store, which I have Sparty Hawk Cash mainly to get rid of my collection and it actually uh, which has been great because I've been able to sell and get rid of uh, things that you know were sitting in my in boxes basically that I don't have really a use for a lot of different cards and so maybe focusing now on just uh, personal collection on certain people certain players um, and also certain memorabilia pieces so Sparty Hawk Cash was born my wife MSU grad I'm a KU grad Boom, Sparty Hawk Cash, awesome, and that's where we're at with that. And trying to figure out for the, what the future of Sparty Hawk Cash will be. Have a lot of good ideas, and uh, stay tuned for those developments as uh, the next couple years I near uh, my actual federal law enforcement retirement. So that could be potentially awesome.
of what uh, we can get into. But this is another nice signature by the Boz. It's a little dark, uh, the card, but, but his signature is great. So another nice signature there by the Boz. Uh, and also a unique card or, um, by Upper Deck. Oh, this one. This one I posted on Instagram, Twitter, and, and it's on Facebook. This is a beauty. This is also an Upper Deck 2008 NFL Exquisite. And this one is numbered 16 out of 35. I just saw this. I mean, the, gra the grade is amazing. A 9.5 BGS. The 10 represents the autograph. So I'm assuming all three autographs are 10s. But you have Hall of Famer of the Steel Curtain Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker, um, Jack Ham, which is awesome. Jack Ham. In the middle there is obviously Brian Bosworth, the Boz. And then you have right down below where I think my finger's at right here is A.J. Hawk from the Green Bay Packers. And I think A.J. is retired because I think he does podcasting now. Because um, I know he's, I've heard him on the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, Pat McAfee show. Pat McAfee show. Hold on one second. I want to check one thing real fast on this one video stream. Uh, yeah, we're good. No one's on live, but we are good. One's on live on... <laughs> I think it's my daughter. Sweet! Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, everything's falling. Everything's coming crashing down. We're going to keep those up there, the gem mints. But this is a beautiful card. And uh, love it. And it's, it's, I mean, thick. This thing... The card itself was thick. I don't know what point it was. Maybe a hundred point card or something, but the obviously the slab is thick. But it but it presents beautifully. So um, love this card. Glad we saw it. Glad we got a great deal on the card, actually. A great deal. Um, it was a buy it now best offer and they accepted our best offer. So kudos to that eBay seller for uh, doing actually. There you go. Schmidty's needful things. That's who sold it to us. So kudos to Smitty's Needful Things for uh, accepting our best offer, which was a fair offer, and uh, they took it. So very cool. Very cool. But sweet card. Uh, and uh, again, I'm going to try to post a lot of these on Instagram when, when I find the time eventually. But uh, And those will lead over to Twitter. Okay, here's some Panini. Here's some more modern-day stuff. And I saw this last year on Instagram, I think on... Uh, I think it's Jason Howarth, uh, sports marketing guy there uh, for Panini, and maybe even on Tracy Hackworth, I'm not sure, but saw on their Instagram some Brian Bosworth. I'm going to try to do this so you can appreciate the autograph. Brian Bosworth uh, autographs on Flawless. It was actually this card. No, it was a different card. But this is a Flawless, um, I don't know what, what the subset of this is, Flawless Signatures, Blue, Leg oh, legendary signatures. It's kind of got an embossment there. This is actually a 10 out of 10. You can see it up right there. And uh, be another beautiful on-card auto by the Boz. This thing is sweet. Not only that, 10 out of 10. Um, great deal. I got a great deal on this card. A lot of these cards I've gotten great deals on. And that's probably uh, music to my wife's ears. And uh, but yeah, this is this is really a beautiful card. So this is more. This is a 2016. Uh, yeah, 2016 flawless football. So I think the Boz they just recently maybe recently started him signing uh, a year or two ago. And I know he's in 2017 product because I think we have some of that. But that is a beautiful legendary signatures. That's a 10 out of 10. Trying to get maybe one out of each series. Not going to be the easiest thing. We'll come back. There's another uh, legendary one I have there. This one's kind of cool. This is, um, they labeled it Father's Day, but I think this is just, uh, oh, it is Father's Day. 2000, oh, wow. Wow. 2008, so I don't even know. I, there's so many cards. 2018, it's called Father's Day. So this must be a Father's Day release. This is a out of 10. The but it's a 5 out of 10. But again, this is signed on Fab, and uh, it's a Father's Day. Uh, you know, Panini does their Father's Day packs. Unfortunately, I think our L, 
uh, LCS here doesn't do that. The one actually where we went to the uh, POD Player of the Day signing for uh, Patrick Mahomes a couple weeks ago, which I posted on Instagram there, and it's on our Facebook page as well as Twitter. Um, they don't. That's, that's a here in Overland Park. That's the only LCS, and I don't think they do the Father's Day packs. Not sure, but this is a sweet card. Um, it's got tape on the top loader, but just another nice signature by the Boz. Five out of ten. Father's Day 2018. So this is fresh product on card signature. We're digging that. We are digging that. Saw that. And I was like, that's another nice. Um, Nice card. I got a great, great deal on that as well. Okay, piling up over here, piling up. Let's see what is in here. Oh, this is thick. Okay, this is nice. This is bummer, sticker autograph, but this is um, National Treasures Signatures 2017. So this was last year's National Treasures football, still in the uh, team bag. But uh, the signature is great because it's all on the sticker. This is a one out of five, a one out of five. Someone on eBay is selling this card, or no, selling the three out of five for like $300 or $400. I mean, it's still on eBay. No one's, no one's even touched it. I mean, Boz, I, I mean, I like Boz. He carries the man with me, but I don't know what kind of demand he actually carries in the, the hobby community. But I mean, I, I know there's a ton of Boz fans out there, but this $300, I'm like, no way. Trust me, did not pay three hundred dollars. Did not even pay. Didn't even pay a third of that. I don't think for this this amazing card. This is one out of five. The first one, uh, two thousand seventeen signatures, flawless. This thing or um, national treasures, beautiful card. So that's a one out of five, and it's hard to see. The one out of five is right in the middle there, right above the uh, signatures, green signatures there. It's uh, it maybe hard for you to see, but. But very cool card. Panini does nice work. I mean, you know, I, I don't collect a lot of cards. I've been ripping a lot of packs, but I, my, my goal is to get a lot of stuff listed on our eBay store. Um, it's just been hard for me to do that with work. Received a promotion at my current job, and so that has um, caused me to actually be busier at work. So good thing. Uh, the good thing is I might be able to retire, fingers crossed, in two and a half years. Bad thing is, it's just kind of keeping me from what I'd like to do permanently, uh, run a run an eBay business or run an online store, something in the hobby, something uh, full-time. So that'll come, but it'll be another couple years. Um, this is another signature. This is a 15 out of 15. This, I mean, it just in a lot of these cards, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, um, I want to say, I don't know, Chintzy is not the right word, but I'm real careful with what I spend on eBay. Uh, four children, obviously. Uh, happy wife, happy life. So I, I don't spend a lot of money on on cards in general. But if I'm going to PC something, you know, I'll go after it, be aggressive, but within reason. But a lot of these cards, I, and I, you know, I don't know if it's because it's the boss or what, but been able to pick them up. Really, really good prices, fair prices. Uh, you know, I would say below market value, but. Uh, bonus for me because um, I'm able to add them to my PC and so this is a pretty cool pretty cool collection what I need to find is that letter of my acceptance to Oklahoma University so I can then tie it all in together uh, with PCing the Boz and uh, why I almost went to Oklahoma but again this is uh, National Treasures 2017 15 out of 15 signatures awesome signature there by the Boz and I got two more in this series coming and this was a seller from the same uh, eBay seller. This is a four out of twenty-five. Now they they left the price, or this was I think what they were offering it for. I didn't pay this much for it. I think they had it listed at four bucks, and I paid either half that. I, I know I didn't pay any more than half that, maybe a little less. But um, 2017 National Treasures. Another uh, sticker auto, but um, again, the sticker autos, uh, the signature is all on the sticker. Nothing is missing, um, so it looks good. It's crisp, it's clean. Uh, again, this is a four out of 25. I don't know how many series they have. They go up to 50 or 100 or what, but um, these are what I've seen recently on eBay, so I've picked up a few of these. Again, maybe trying to get one out of each series. 
and uh, but that's a that's a nice card, nice signature again. Great condition of the card. I don't know if these are pack pooled or breaker pooled or, or what, but they are nice. Here's another flawless. That I had that first one a 10 out of 10. This is a 15 out of 20. This is gold. The, the 10 out of 10 was blue, uh, but this is legendary signatures. Another one, and again, that's not the price we paid. Uh, I, I think. I mean, I think I, pay, I paid for both these cards maybe 40 bucks combo. I mean, I paid like 20 for this one, maybe 25 and 15. Um, but we didn't pay that the sticker price that they put on there. That's what they had it listed for, though. Um, but yeah, so on card. This is an on card signature. So I'm like, that's awesome. It's great. 2000. Uh, this is a 2016, right? Yeah. Full of football. I, again, need to familiarize. I had this humongous Marlon Mack collection, which I got into, long story short, won a Marlon Mack card on the Go GTS Live podcast in December. Went after Marlon Mack. Um, he, I didn't play. One of it, I, was, I went after him heavy because he was affordable, because he is a rookie and wasn't really starting. He was sharing with, uh, I think it's Frank Gore. Um, I think he's starting now this year, so we'll see what he does, but... Um, still kind of picking up some of his pieces before the season starts. and uh, But Marlon Mack, so I, I, I started learning all these different sets of Panini football because I really never collected uh, football before. And um, so, learn, you know, flawless and national treasures, some of these high-end cards. These are pretty cool. I'm going to sh share these real fast. I've been rambling on. These are artist cards by the same artist, uh, Edward Vila. Edward Vila. And so... These, I, just, I mean, these are really nice artist renditions. This is limited. This is a two out of fifty. Let me make sure I'm on the picture there. Oops, so I might be off a little bit. Two out of fifty for this one, and this is an eight out of twenty-five. Uh, this is obviously him, uh, the Boz on Oklahoma, and then the Boz uh, probably rookie year with Seattle. Uh, and they're signed on the back, and I'll show you that. But these are created uh, by. Uh, let me read the back of this card. The signature below certifies the trading card as a limited edition. What do you call it? Gilsey? Gis Gis God, man, this is terrible. I can't even know. Uh, Gisley? Is it Gisley? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, look at that. Hey, what's going on? Chris Plowman, good to see you, buddy. Sorry I'm, uh, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I got you, Cardaholics. I know you're not. Sorry. My daughter was on there watching, though. Um, anyway, artists uh, hereby, they signed them. Again, I'll show you the backs here. But nice, pretty cool cards. Uh, they got a little good artist. I'm hoping my daughter does some of this. My daughter is a very talented artist, and she likes to draw Steven Universe, Pokemon, things like that. So... Uh, Maybe she can become, you know, start submitting some uh, some artist sketches to uh, Upper Deck and Panini and Tops and Leaf and get some get some of her work out there because she is a pretty good little artist. But so this one you can see this was uh, eight out of twenty five and this is two out of fifty. But uh, artist cards, Edward Vila. I don't know much about him. I'll have to look him up on uh, on Instagram and all that or Twitter or Facebook, but. But I saw these, thought they were pretty nice, and we went after them. And I mean, pretty reasonable price cards. I think one was like five bucks, the other might have been ten bucks, if that. Um, so maybe maybe he'll be famous someday, right? Almost famous. There we go. Um, one was directly from the artist himself. I got the address of the artist there, and then the other one, someone else was selling. All right, um, we're gonna get into just a couple more, and then we're gonna show you what we got from Mojo Breaks. Mojo Breaks, Doug and Dan. All right, and here we go. This is a C Rad, uh, 2008 Upper Deck Masterpiece, just uh, parallel series card, Boz with his headband. Again, it's on this kind of canvasy looking material. So it kind of looks like an artist card, pretty cool. Pretty, I mean, just a neat looking card. With the, uh, this reminds me of Gypsy Queen a little bit. That brown border there, uh, from some of the Gypsy Queen uh, sets, uh, about 2015. I know they had that brown border, but this is 2008 Upper Deck. 
Nice car to the Boz. Serious dude there. Uh, let me just check one thing here. Whoa. Don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose that. All right. I appreciate those hanging in there. Thanks, Chris. Hey, thanks for the plug. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed the uh, cards. Thanks for watching our videos. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not prepared to do a giveaway today, but we will. Uh, I'm probably gonna rip. Actually, you'll see when we when I show you this Mojo Break surprise package we got. Probably we'll rip something with uh, my son this weekend. I have to go out all next weekend. Oh. Uh, here we go. This is 2013. Um, is this Upper Deck Quantum? Yeah. Quantum Football. This is just a parallel. This one's numbered. Uh, where's the number on here? 22 out of 55. Kind of a neat, just a nice looking uh, parallel type card. This one's 2012 Football Exquisite. This is a 46 out of 85. Again, the Boz and his OU gear. And this is a 2008 Icons Football. This is kind of like a die cut card. NFL Legends, 53 out of 75. That's almost that same picture that we just showed you of the Boz. It looked like that upper deck painted portrait. These are all upper deck, so this is Icons. Got a little die cut action here, you can see that. So there's a couple, whoa. Let me put this down. There's a couple of those there. Um, moving right along, moving right along, the pile gets bigger. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, this is this is a relic card. Brian Bosworth, 51 out of 75 winning materials. I haven't seen many of these on eBay. This is 2008 SPX football. It's got a little AFC there um, for the Boz. But I haven't even been watching to see if I'm giving you good visuals or reflections or not. But so I apologize. <laughs> Too many things going on. All right, and last but not least, we've got a couple more. Oh, this was just a, kind of a pack of cards, kind of rookie rookie cards, and some other random. Those are just random uh, base cards, miscellaneous. Oh, this was kind of interesting. This is a good win. This is a 2012 Goodwins champion. The Boz and his karate. Kind of a neat card. Thought we picked that up. Uh-oh. Hopefully we haven't frozen yet. Hopefully we haven't frozen. And, uh, there we go. And then, let's see what this one is. Oh, these are, this is kind of Mike Singletary and the Boz. This is a 2000... Uh, 11 upper just upper deck football dream tandems. You got you got um, Mike Singletary on Baylor and then uh, Brian Bosworth on OU. It gives uh, Singletary had 662 tackles and 34 tackles for a loss in his career. And Boz had 413 tackles, 12 sacks, and 39 tackles for a loss. So kind of neat. And then uh, 1980s decade, decades best. This is a 2011 upper deck. So, apologize if these weren't shown very well, but all right. So let's get into this Mojo Break. So, Mojo Break had an auction going, uh, basically for uh, 21 Strong Foundation, and I, what I know about it is that they are an organization that helps uh, with. High school athletes, I think it's geared towards high school athletes that have had brain trauma or brain injury, maybe by football, uh, concussion syndrome, things like that. Uh, being an ex-rugby player, I've suffered several concussions in my career. I'm retired now, but when I played, and uh, definitely respect the fact that people are out there trying to offer assistance. I mean, there's been some real tragic stories of young football players in high school that have either tried to go to college or have gone to college and... I mean, they've suffered so much damage to their uh, brain that they have either committed suicide or, you know, have retired from the game and kind of gone into seclusion, things like that. And, I mean, obviously you're seeing it from a lot of these veteran uh, players. But, so, anyway, so we, we ended up winning the auction. So all that money that we uh, paid for that went to 100% towards 21 um, Strong Foundation, which was... Their, uh, Doug and Dan's uh, 
charity of choice through eBay for charity. So let's show the card. So it's actually, I won the card and I was like, All right, what am I gonna do with this card? Uh, the card, it was kind of funny. We're having fun. You know, there's, uh, for those that know about Vegas Days and uh, the Mike Trout, Super Fractor, 100, uh, he paid $400,000 for it. Vegas Day now, potentially uh, Mexico Day, as, as was uh, documented uh, on the podcast Sports Card Radio with Ryan Tedards. Um, but here it is. This is it. So, Mojo, Mojo Break, check it out. There you go, Doug. There's your beauty. The Taco Bell inscribed one of one. Uh, Mojo Break now, for those who don't know, they are breakers and they've been in the breaking industry, I think probably since 2010. They've been in there for a while. This was done of Doug, one of the breakers there, Doug Kasky, uh, at the N 2013 NFL Player Rookie Premiere. And so he, he had a card made of himself, or they made him a card of him squeezing a football. Just pressing it, squeezing it, gripping it, and uh, he made some uh, inscribed cards. And there you go, Taco Bell, Doug Caskey, one of one player is player issued. This thing is awesome. So I have a I have a something I'm going to do with this card here. We'll be posting it on social media in a little, hopefully this weekend. Again, I've got to go away to a training, and so I, I'm limited in my time this weekend. Got to spend it with family, but this is pretty cool, and. So, so I was only expecting this. Uh, again, all the money that was paid for this this card, this card right here, Doug Kasky, one of one, Taco Bell inscribed, went to the 21 Strong Foundation. Um, so that that's awesome in its sense. Uh, and so we know the money's going, and it's going through eBay for charity. All of our, just for those who don't know, eBay for charity is a part of eBay that you know you can directly. Uh, there's um, charitable or nonprofit organizations on there that you can put anywhere from 5% to 100% of your of your sale, eBay sale, to go to that charity. Here at Sparty Hawk Cash, we don't, every sale we do, no matter what it is, $1, $100, $1,000, 10%, minimum is we uh, donate 10% of our sales to uh, a nonprofit. One of the nonprofits I'm pretty passionate about, about just because I'm passionate about his story and also it kind of ties in with that CTE is ALS is uh, Steve Gleason, the uh, former New Orleans Saints uh, safety who um, made that dramatic punt when Superdome was reopened in New Orleans against uh, 2006 maybe after Hurricane Katrina, maybe 2007 because Katrina was in four or five, I can't remember, might be 2006, where he blocked that punt against the Falcons, scored it, uh, but he has a his organization, Team Gleason, um, He's been suffering from ALS for, gosh, I mean, it's been five or six years. I mean, I've kind of followed his journey through his movie, through his posting, um, through NFL Network did a show on him being uh, climbing to Machu Picchu with his, his group, Team Gleason. And uh, so I'm passionate about that, ALS. Um, you know, we just lost, the, the football world just lost Dwight Clark to ALS, who within two years he was diagnosed or at least announced it and, and he was gone and um, I mean, just tragic and D Dwight Clark famous for that catch the uh, trying to emulate it a little bit the catch against the Dallas Cowboys uh, him being the 49ers in 1980 81 I think they went to the 81 Super Bowl that was part of the 1980 season or 1980 playoffs and the Cowboys were kicked out of the playoffs that was the NFC Championship me being a diehard Eagles fan from Philadelphia, that was awesome. So, uh, you know, Dwight Clark. Mojo Breaks, while I'm thinking about it, do a podcast as well. And they, they actually talked about the Dwight Clark passing and how people kind of jumped on eBay and threw in the Dwight Clark rip cards and, uh, you know, RIP rip, you know, and the date of the death. And just people kind of uh, trying to profit on the death of athletes or, or you know, a tragedy, uh, tragic type uh, situations, and it's kind of sad, but that's just the society we live in. Again, rip cards, the only rip cards that should be labeled in eBay should be these rip cards, right? The legendary actual Ty Cobb rip card, but that's, we've already done that one. Check out that video on YouTube, subscribe to us, and watch it. So, but anyway, so Doug Kasky, so I was only expecting Taco Bell, okay, one of one, which 
thoroughly, and again, I'm going to have fun with this this weekend. We'll, uh, stay tuned on social media. But he sent a bonus, and a, this isn't a one-on-one, but he sent co-ed softball MVP, another signed card. So very cool, and the fact that he put his card in a um, one-touch is pretty impressive. So thank you, Doug, for doing that. Quality right there. Um, but this, so we got a bonus card. And again, looking forward to hopefully meeting Doug and Dan and uh, C-Rad, I think, their producer there, maybe at the uh, National, if we can get out there. We're looking to get out there. But so, here we go, look at this. So, not, so this big box came from Mojo Break, and I was like, well, that's kind of strange, because I'm only expecting a card. And look at this, look, look what these guys did for uh, Sparty Hawk Cash, which is pretty cool. We got a Panini, oh, I better check the pocket on uh, those. Thought they had some gift cards or something. I'm just kidding. Panini little bag here. My daughter will dig this. Someone. Who do you collect for my son? Actually, this could be a little baseball bag. This is kind of cool. So a little backpack. Thank you, Panini. So I'm like, well, that was kind of cool. But then I'm like, wait, it gets better. It gets better. Look at this. Panini hat. Boom, boom, boom. Panini. It's all about Panini. Actually, it's all about Panini in the World Cup and their sticker collection right now so look at that we're gonna oh my god it's almost a perfect fit for my big melon for my big melon i gotta bow it a little bit here let me loosen it up man doug nice job on the hat sizing that that was pretty impressive you guys mojo break is all over it but yeah check out their podcast i think they do it live on video on their break day so uh we're gonna do a little panini uh, advertising here for Panini, free pub, free pub. We're not getting paid for this free advertisement. So we're like, okay, wow. I was like, that was pretty nice. Oh wait. So we're like, sweet, sweet. Look at this, shades, shades. Panini shades. We're going with it. We can't see, but we're going with it. Panini shades. Who doesn't need a pair of Panini shades? Look at that. Panini shades. So we're like, okay. Seriously, what else? What else can be in this bag? Now nah, I won't be able to read. Oh, look at this. What is this? This is a, a, a booster box of NBA Complete Panini 2016-17. We're like, sweet. Sweet. We don't collect basketball, but sweet. We're probably going to rip it and see what's in there. Five cards per pack, 11 packs. But so, yeah, look at this. Panini. I mean, dudes, mojo of a break. You guys, too much. Far too kind. Didn't need to do all this. We're happy you did, but, I mean, you didn't need to do all this. This was this was great. So we're like, we're like, wait. This is like the endless bag. What else could be in here? What else? We're like, okay. Whoa, boom, look at this. Look at this. Museum collection. Museum. Now, if anyone's writing, I can't see anything because uh, let me see if anyone's commenting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it is pretty cool. No one else. No one else is watching. Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go back with the Tom Cruise look here. So look at this. Two autos, one relic card per box. 2017 museum collection, Topsy Museum collection, little, little uh, Conor McGregor, and I, I'm not a big, uh, who was that? Amanda Nunez, or Nunez, Max Holiday, and Stipe Myopic, or my, my, my Osic, or whatever. Sorry, not, not MMA. I, I ever watched MMA when it was Ken Shamrock, okay, when it first started. That's when I watched MMA. Ken Shamrock, and uh, who's the jiu-jitsu guy? Um... Oh my gosh, um, just learned about, just, oh my gosh, I can't, I, it'll come to me. The jiu-jitsu guy, the uh, family that, that, that brought jiu-jitsu to America, basically. But yeah, Ken Shamrock, that's who, that's, I remember watching, paying pay-per-view for the original M uh, MMA, mixed martial arts or UFC, well, it wasn't UFC then, it was just called um, Tough Man Contest or something, but, so sweet, so we're like, dude, that was far too kind, far too kind, thank you guys. But we're like, it's not over. It's not over. We're like, whoa, 2018, a box of Inception, seven cards, one autograph, or relic. Look at this. You guys overdid yourself. We appreciate it. We will rip, probably rip into these, definitely these two with my son, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but we'll get that on video, and that'll be a Mojo Break special. But look at this. This, far too kind, guys. Mojo Break. Uh, never broken with them. I, I'm not much of a breaker. I will have to say I, I've broken with um, Top Shelf Breaks, Chris Keller, and then, of course, Chris and Adam at Buck City Breaks. Um, 
those are my probably my go-to people with breakers. But really enjoy listening to their podcast, The Hype, and uh, was almost going to get into a museum collection. Uh, but again, I don't collect that much cards. I, I'm focusing on my PC, which again is going to be Marlon Mack, which I have. We'll do another video on Marlon Mack cards, but we have um, Marlon Mack, Brian Bosworth. Um, who's the other? Uh, I've got an oh down uh, Danny Manning. Okay, is another one, and I have a surprise PC that we'll be announcing here. We'll do another video for that one. Uh, we've got some things in the works. Uh, ties into Michigan State a little bit, but we'll talk about that PC a uh, little bit later. Uh, but Danny Manning, Danny and the Miracles from basketball. So I will collect Danny Manning cards, and uh, I will show you some of uh, my Danny Manning PC. But so yeah, awesome. I mean, so Doug and Dan. C-Rad, thank you guys for this amazing care package. Panini, this is fantastic. Um, the hat, love it. The shades, I mean, I, I can't see because I wear glasses, but this is awesome. So, oh, <laughs> I'm going to put on, my, uh, put on my, uh, my glasses. So, anyhow, let's sign off. This video is way too long. It's actually, I think it stopped on Facebook, which sucks. But we're still, we're live on um we're live. We're going to go back to the sunglasses. We're live on YouTube. So thanks again, everyone, for if you watch this. If you don't, that's okay, too. Uh, but thanks again, Doug. We got some special things in store for this card. And uh, stay tuned on social media. We're going to have a little fun with this. And we are out of here. Adios, and thank you. Have a great weekend, everyone.